Okay, so we're going to be making like a wine glass right now. So let's just start with deleting this. I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to press tab to join and like go in edit mode. Press F to make the face. Then I'm going to press 1 to get like the front view. Alright, now I can start building the wine glass. Uh, I'm going to extrude point 0.1. I guess extrude point 0.1 again and scale it down, I guess. Point to five. Uh, wait, no. There. All right, and okay. Extrude again, and then just lower it down to this much, I guess. Okay. Now we can extrude up around this much. Extrude, scale, extrude, scale. Extrude, scale, extrude, extrude, scale, down. Okay, so <clears throat> just from looking at it, I feel like it's a bit too tall. So what I'm going to do is press B, select all of this, and take it down to like around this bit. Okay, so the base is slightly larger than this area. Um, seems like it's fine though I'm going to go in like the rendered mode uh, solid okay so <clears throat> doesn't seem like there's any issues maybe just maybe oh wait wireframe mode yeah okay maybe like just no all right select this as well uh, okay and scale these like okay why is it not working one second alt a select this scale it around 1.2 1.5 1 1.3 there we go okay uh, that looks good enough if Okay, let's add a modifier to subsurface divide to give it like a better shape. I'm just going to look. Yeah, I'm just going to like increase this and see what it looks like. Um, I do want to put like creases around here and hmm, maybe some around here as well. Oh, the other bit is selected as well. Deselect that. Shift E. And all right. Next up, I believe there is like a bit over here that's like messing with this wireframe. Yeah, how does this look like? Uh, so, wait a second. No. Wireframe. Let's just get rid of this for now. Oh, I'm selecting the wrong thing. All right, there we go. Shift E. Okay, subsurface divide. And going to solid. Okay, and... Okay, it looks a lot better now. I will add some more details. Like, not details, but just creases around here. Because I want this look of the glass to, like... Oh. Yeah, forgot about the top. So select the top, delete that. There we go. And finally, we need to solidify this. Uh, solidify, I feel like wine glass, like, yeah, these don't really need to be that thick. Point 0.1 is too much. Uh, point 0.05. All right, that's good enough. All right. And that should be our basic wine glass right now. Oh, obviously the material. So, add a material and I am going to be simple with this and just change it into glass. SGF. Um, oh, yeah. So, basically I need a plane over here. Um, let's just grease this. Uh, add a material for the plane as well. I'm just gonna make it dark. I'm gonna make it metallic. Uh, just increase this. It doesn't doesn't really matter that much. Um, the problem right now is, yeah, the world setting. This. 
that's that's much better. Okay, so uh, this thing, the roughness determines like how see-through it is. Oh, um, <clears throat> this is basically caused by this. Like you see this at the bottom. Uh, you can fix this by just selecting the class and pressing G Z and hold Shift and just take it up a tiny bit, just enough so like it's no longer visible down here. So for example, like this is not enough, not enough, and there, perfect. And finally, oh wait, there's no hole. Oh yeah, there's a hole in there. Um, Shift Z. I need to. Is the, are we in edit mode? We are in edit mode. Okay, deselect everything. Uh, control no Alt and Shift here. Press F to make like this over there. So now there's there shouldn't really be a hole now. I'm going to use fly mode and I am going to place this camera around here. I guess yeah. Actually, there we go. And what does it look like? Do I want to add a liquid inside this? It does look a bit too simple right now. And on also like the base could be smaller. <laughs> it is way too big right now. Shut up. That's that's much better. Uh, I'm going to increase the subsurface thingy. Just to see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, in the render, I need, to, I need it to be like as good as possible. Um, yeah. Okay, so the liquid is a bit tricky because we're gonna have to basically go into edit mode over here. Oh yeah, and we also need to apply the solidify modifier. Uh, oh boy. Wait a second. So we apply the solidify modifier. Modifiers cannot be applied in edit mode, well, obviously. Okay, we apply the solidify modifier, and then we basically have to create a liquid from the inside of this thing. So what we do is go select faces, like this, like this, 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 this. I think that high is good enough. <laughs> it's a bit too much to drink, but you know, it's fine. Uh, we press shift D to duplicate this, press escape to like put it back where it got duplicated. Press P and separate this by selection. So whatever we selected is now a second object now. So we have this glass and then we have this. Um, I've hidden the glass by pressing H. You can also hide it from over here. Uh, click on this. You can go into edit mode. Oh, are the normals fine? I think they're fine. Go into edit mode. I'm going to select this top edge. Press F to like create this face and then press alt h once more so now i can select this by clicking on this thing over here um the problem with blender is that it doesn't really handle liquids that well um unless well there are ways to make a liquid look good but you know you basically have to do some tricks in order to do that oh yeah i don't have the subsurface modifier on this anymore and there you go. Like as soon as I add the subsurface modifier to this, this shape gets ruined. So there. But they both need to have the same subsurface modifiers and not just that, like they both need to have basically identical shapes. So shift E over here, crease that and alt H. There we go. Okay, it still doesn't look perfect, um, and that's primarily because of the glass that we're using. So, select that, increase that by 4 as well, and there we go. Oh yeah, press 0. Alright, and then I probably should just render this now, and see what it looks like. Thanks for watching, I guess.